Not all Royal Caribbean ships have a nursery, but they all do have kids club. Here are five tips that you need to know when traveling with kids younger than the age of six. And if you want to know our experience traveling with a baby in the nursery, please be sure to stay until the end. And I'll even tell you which ships don't have a nursery on board. While you can technically register kids for kids club any day of the cruise, it's best to do it on the very first day during open house. Royal Caribbean has open house typically at 1 p.m. and I'm in line around 12.30. The good thing about doing it during open house is that your kids get to know the staff a little bit and if you have a young baby between the ages of 6 months and 36 months, you're also going to be able to reserve your specific time. Now you don't need to reserve specific times for older than 36 months. However, if you're traveling with another family or both parents, this is a time that you can decide on who's going to be able to sign up, whose children and whatnot. So when we're traveling with our friends, we are allowed to check in and check out their children and vice versa. This makes it very convenient when there's two sets of parents and you just don't know who's going to be available. Sometimes it's the guys going to get the kids, sometimes it's the ladies going to get the kids. But doing this on day one is by far the best way to do it. Also, Kids Club is open on day one and day one is a great time for kids to go and meet friends that they can get to know and play with for the rest of the week. Now you might be wondering when Kids Club is open, and this brings me to the second thing that you must know. Now sea days and port days are different. On sea days, it's open from 9 a.m. to noon, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., and 7 p.m. until 1 a.m. Port days, the hours of operation is when the cruise ship is in port, Kids Club is open. And if you have a Royal Caribbean excursion, it's going to be open a little bit earlier so you can drop your children off and then go and get off the ship and have a Royal Caribbean excursion. Now you might be wondering how much does this all cost? Well, good thing it's mostly free. At least for the ages of three and up it's mostly free and I'll tell you a little bit more in detail on how much the nursery costs. So for ages three and up it's free from 9am to noon and all the way until 10pm. Uh, However, if you leave your children in there for the late night part from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., it's an additional $10 per hour per child. Not too bad and well worth it if you want to stay out a little bit late. And the fourth thing you must know is about the My Family Time Dining, which my family actually hasn't tried yet and we just might be trying it here on our upcoming cruise. What that is is for families with the kids of between the ages of 3 and 11 years old, you can go to the main dining room and have dinner with your family. When you get there, you just let your server know that you have the My Family Time Dining and then they're going to have your kids served in about 40 minutes. About 45 minutes later, you're going to meet the Adventure Ocean or the Kids Club staff in a designated spot in the main dining room entrance. There, they'll be checked into the Kids Club and the staff will take the kids to Adventure Ocean slash Kids Club. You and your spouse then can go finish dinner, having dessert and coffee, and take as much time as you want. This can be signed up through your travel agent before your cruise, or by calling Royal Caribbean if you didn't book through a travel agent. Of course, book through a travel agent is definitely the way I recommend. And if you don't do it pre-cruise, which is what is recommended, you can do it on the first day of registration. Now beware, this doesn't happen or this doesn't start until night two dinner. So night two and on, you can have this My Time Dining. If you don't want to go this way, you can just do what we do. And you can just simply feed the kids in the wind jammer at 5 p.m., drop the kids off at 7, and then go catch dinner with your spouse and do that at the late seating on traditional dining or do My Time Dining and have that reserved for 7.15 p.m. each night after you drop your kids off at 7 p.m. And the fifth thing that you must know is how old are the different age groups well, you got the Royal Babies and Tots from 6 months to 36 months, which I'll tell you a little bit more about shortly. And then you have the Aquanauts room from 3 to 5 years old. Now please note that all 3 year olds must be fully potty trained and not wearing a diaper or pull up in order to be able to go to Aquanauts. And then you have the ages 6 to 8 and 9 to 12. Now some ships, they do combine the 6 to 12 year olds. And here's a list of them for your reference. Otherwise, all the other ships are broken up from 3 to 5, 6 to 8, and 9 to 12 years of age. Now that I've given you all the tips, let me tell you about what all of our personal experience is cruising with babies, as young as 11 months of age in our case. If you've learned anything so far, 
please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Now, you can actually cruise with babies as young as six months in most cases. There's a few exceptions, you know, such as Transatlantic, Transpacific, a few select South American and Hawaii cruises, or any cruise that's got three consecutive sea days. Now, overall, our experience has been great. And while we were very hesitant to begin with, when we went to open house on day one and met the staff, learned of their credentials and the way they interacted with our child, we felt at ease. As well as being given a handheld cordless foam, that was another layer of protection and eased us a little bit more. Now you can get this phone all the way up until the age of five. So if you need to call them or they need to call you for any reason, you can always be reached, which we really enjoyed. And honestly, we are only called one time so far. We all have to have a college education. We all have to have experience working with children. Everybody in that room knows how to care for children, knows how to facilitate a group activity, knows how to respond to any situation. I would tell parents to rest easy, go enjoy, and know that your kids are having just as much fun as you are, but in a different environment. Now something that we didn't know when cruising with a young little baby is that we need to bring a diaper bag or tote bag with their formula or their milk and a change of clothes as well as wipes dropped off at the nursery each night that we took advantage of this. Now, if you're not gonna take advantage of the nursery or you're gonna have dinner with the baby in the main dining room, feel free to do that. The staff does not mind one bit about babies in the main dining room. In fact, they cater to them just like they cater to you and us. So we were able to get a hot cup of water for a bottle of milk. We are also able to get pureed sweet potato, finally fresh cut up fruit. So go ahead and enjoy a main dining room with your baby. They'll have a high chair, they'll clean up all the mess that they make, and you don't have to do anything but relax. And you're, they're going to pretty much be fed before you get your appetizer or at least your main course. So you can still enjoy your evening with your spouse and your little one and then drop the baby off at the nursery should you choose so. And one quick bonus tip here real quick. For the baby in nursery room only, on the very first day, you are going to be able to reserve a block of hours. Usually on a seven day cruise, it's about 10 hours. So be sure to reserve all 10 hours on day one for your little baby. And on day three, it opens up. So any more time slots or any more hours you wanna reserve the nursery for, you can go ahead and do that on day three. Of course, it doesn't hurt to check and ask whenever you want as well. Now, if you want some more tips, please be sure to watch this video here. And if you learned something, like, subscribe, and share this with something that might need a helpful hint or two. This is Brian, Tips for Cruisers.